It's like the apocalypse. It's that bad. The last day of the decade must have seemed like the end of days. Iran's general, Qasem Soleimani. He'd reportedly just gotten into Iraq from Beirut and was leaving Baghdad airport when he was killed in a convoy of vehicles along with a top Iraqi militia leader. But we caught him in the act and terminated him. Good evening. The world is on edge tonight after Iran made good on its promise, launching a revenge attack on the United States following the death of its top military leader. A Ukrainian plane carrying 176 people was crashed shortly after taking off from the Iranian capital. Prince Harry and Meghan saying they're stepping back uh, from royal duties. The impeachment trial of President Trump begins. In Turkey, where at least 22 people are now dead and more than 900 injured after an earthquake in the east of the country. From the tragic death of NBA legend Kobe Bryant. The man who could score 81 points in a single game. And an 81 so there it is. The UK has left the European Union. 47 years of history brought to an end in the name of sovereignty and independence. From flames to flash floods. I will not be running for president in 2020. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders has just announced that he is suspending his campaign. He is dropping out of the race for president. Joe Biden is now the presumptive Democratic nominee against President Donald Trump. Coronavirus. COVID-19. Tom Hanks announcing overnight that he and wife Rita Wilson are both infected. The Chinese whistleblower doctor who told the world about the coronavirus in Wuhan has died. All of Italy is going on lockdown. Countries such as Italy and Iran are in the middle of the battle. Elsewhere, the impact of COVID-19 is just beginning. The World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. All this has rocked financial markets around the world, the worst sell-off on Wall Street since the financial crisis in 2008. The European Championships this summer will be postponed until 2021. The 2020 Summer Olympics, now the latest major sports cancellation caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic. The U.S. now has the highest number of COVID-19 related deaths in the world. We learned about the rapid escalation of coronavirus as global infections surpass one million. Is it just me? In the language of the U.S. Department of Defense, these are unidentified aerial phenomena, videos which add fuel to the belief of some we are not alone. A massacre in the honeycomb. Breaking news, a passenger plane crashing in Pakistan. The second outbreak of Ebola has been confirmed. An online collective group by the name Anonymous has surged once again. Minneapolis on fire. This is getting serious. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We got a little bit of a fire breaking out to the left here. Sample Fires have been started. Things got out of control. We're marching peacefully and chanting names. It'll get worse before it gets better. Now, 13 years after she vanished, prosecutors in Germany say they believe Madeleine McCann is dead. A devastating earth altering 7.1 magnitude quake Tuesday. Mexico City. The rising tension between India and China along the line of control is now the biggest face off between two sides since the Doklam crisis in 2017. Democracy activists say they fear the end of Hong Kong after China announced plans for new security laws. Hurricane Hannah slamming into the Texas shore, winds of 90 miles an hour. And the pandemic continues to spread across the world. Data compiled by the statistics website Worldometer shows global infections surpassed 10 million. Just after 6 p.m. local time on Tuesday, the 4th of August, an 
explosion ripped through Beirut's port.